truck but we're on the way to the gym we're headed off to train legs I uh, just gonna give you guys the rundown while I'm driving that way it's less setup time when I get there and I can get right to work because the stems are kicking in and I want to get done training hence I will be working out at the p5 gym so it's gonna be a little more crowded the equipment's not as cool there'll be bunk music playing but yeah, so it's a daddy-daughter day. My little girl always wants to come watch me train, so I told her she was coming. So what we're gonna hit is abdominals, standing cable crunches. Then we are going to hit the standing calf raise. Then it's gonna be the leg press, adductors, hamstrings. And that's our leg workout. It's gonna be intense, we're trying to get dense. What more do I say? All right, starting off with ab training. Standing cable crunch, super direct, super precise, very stable, <clears throat> and it's heavy. When progressively overloading on this, try to make sure you use the same cable stack. All cable stacks are not made equal. All right, so here goes nothing. This will be our top set on this leg press. This is an Ikarin leg press. Um, not a huge fan. Actually, being on this machine, I realized that it is way more focused on hamstrings and glutes as the foot pad is way high. And if I want to dig into quads, my feet have to be way low on it, even off the pad if I want to direct drive but i got a good foot position set up and i feel it exactly where i felt it before at the home gym well at the muscle i'd say got a about the same load i had on last session plus 10 pounds i believe i put 35s on top so yeah it's gonna be brutal i'm scared lord protect my body don't let me hurt myself you know I'm gonna have to stop one rep in reserve because I don't know, I don't have a spotter. So we're just gonna drive with it. Oh, Lord Jesus, protect my body. Oh, protect my body, Lord Jesus. Well, we hit failure. It wasn't a rep in reserve. And thankfully, I didn't get crushed. Oh my God, it hurts. That set of leg press absolutely smoked me. I'm gonna move straight to hamstrings. Uh, even in my warm-up set, the contraction is insane. I definitely uh, pulled with the rest of my body on that last rep. Hamstrings caught some hell. I'm about to give them real hell on this. Um, actually, I happen to love this machine. This is a standing 
hamstring curl, uh, single leg. I'm going to show you guys how to use it in a more direct fashion. Obviously, it's made to where you would lean over this pad, grab these handles, and in that position, you can crank and pull over a lot more weight. Whereas how I'm going to be set up here, if I could move this leg out of the way, I would, and I would stand straight up in this machine. But I'm going to try to maintain as upright as possible, using my arms to brace, to be as stable as possible. And I'm going to curl only with my bicep femoris. And the, uh, the contraction on this is nightmarish. This 25 pounds is going to feel like 200 on some other machine, but you know, load is important where it's directly applied. And if I'm gonna separate a bunch of weight between my hamstrings and my glutes, you know, that's beside the point. I wanna use my hamstrings only, so. <sighs> oh. Oh. And we are. So the last two reps weren't full range of motion, but I couldn't contract anymore, so we'll call that failure. This variation isn't my idea. This isn't a, a Primark Billy original. I actually got this from a bodybuilder I competed against, who's now a pro named Sam Conato. Vastly different training approaches between us. Uh, he is a high volume fella, but watching his stuff and uh, seeing the way he trained, I've picked up a couple things and Sam has incredible legs and uh, hamstrings to boot. So I picked this up from him. That's a set. All right, so heavy ass leg press, wipe this, that standing hamstring, hit it extra hard. I wanna finish off the adductors. And then my idea is, is that I'm gonna train the hamstrings in the lengthened position and hit my glutes as well. And systematically eliminating everything else before moving to this makes it hit that much harder. So we aren't following any of Dynamite D's cues here. The way your feet are doesn't matter. All that matters is you make yourself stable. And you use your adductors. Oh. And you go to failure. That's all it takes. Well, the set of uh, Smith Machine RDLs didn't record, so you guys missed that, but it was a great set. It really torched me. <clears throat> These were numb at the end. And then I just decided that I want to hit a set of abductors. 
I just feel like doing it, so I am. Oh yeah. I'm trying this because I see everyone else do it. The leaning forward thing. I don't feel much of a difference. Not really. Burns. <sighs> I definitely felt the uh, the RDLs at the tie-in of my glutes to my hamstrings, as well as my hamstrings and the medial glutes. This is all the abductor area, the outer glute, that etching that's there from behind. You know when you're actually lean the indents, the outside crest, the peak. Feel all that and where the glutes tie in, those IT bands running down the sides of the leg, uh, which should obviously be really good for, you know, definition in the side shots, as well as that etching from behind. It's not something I ever directly targeted, but, you know, I did a whole lot of uh, posterior chain focus stuff back in the day you know even my pressing was really leaning toward that direction until last year when I switched it up and decided to really grow my quads and my hamstrings in isolation which is why I have such big glutes because they took over everything but I think with fine-tuning uh, and some prioritization plus specialization the equipment like this, it could uh, be the next big break of the changes we want to see. This was definitely eye-opening. I'm, I'm glad my curiosity got the better of me because, wow, I really feel that. Well, I think I'm just going to hit calves the next time I come to train. I ain't really worried about it. Get home, get the kids to bed. Let's see if we still got it. Train legs. Once a month, not bad. Still crazy.